I'm actually here at this lake in the woods here in, in uh, South Jersey to see if these guys are on their fall habit yet, their fall pattern. And from what I, I mean, when the wind picks up like this, a little bit of chop helps. So, yeah, that's a decent one there. Um, maybe, maybe we catch some more. It's been a lean day so far. Real lean day. So these fish midday here are very difficult to find. I think they head to deeper water and kind of disperse. Uh, afternoon is ideal here at this lake, in my experience. Oh, it's a turtle. Um, it is now 11 o'clock. Water temperature is still 70 degrees, 71 almost here. Holy, yeah, uh, we're a couple of weeks early, I think, for the for the fall pattern of the, of the calico bass here from, from what I know. But um, yeah, this lake makes it very difficult to find the fish sometimes. So that being said, I um, was harvesting sumac yesterday, the day before yesterday. And as I was leaving the woods, I uh, ran into a couple of guys, uh, buddy and buddy were there foraging for mushrooms and they shared with me a bit of chicken of the woods mushroom a very very easily identified mushroom so that was miles and miles and miles and miles uh, out so I'm thinking I there's some woods around oh I mean I'm surrounded by woods maybe I go for a hike and see what I can find see what I can forage for my dinner and we'll do maybe a catch and cook calico bass another day in a couple weeks maybe. Staghorn sumac. Oh, come on, get off of there. There we go.
So this stuff is uh, full of malic acid. It's uh, real. It's like the. It's hands down the best lemonade you're ever gonna have. And it's uh, full of antioxidants, anti-inflammatories. Uh, um, it is antimicrobial, antifungal, probably. It's got all kinds of. Allegedly, it's got all kinds of health benefits. All I know is it tastes really, really good. So, what else can we find, huh? I'm tempted to get off of the water and just go, you know, like hiking, uh, uh, looking for mushrooms. Because midday fishing here is like pounding your head against a brick wall. And I don't think I'm sitting here for four hours not catching anything. This, I believe, is a pin cherry. Is there a... Oh, get one that's kind of ripe. Wow, they are hard still. I just ate one that was really, really good. Wow. Doesn't look like they're ripe either. Well, keep looking. Some kind of small crab apple. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. I ended up <coughs> the um, skin is very tannic. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking some of them, for sure. So this is a chicken of the woods mushroom. It is a uh, parasitizing saprophytic fungus, meaning it infects the tree and then will kill the tree. So it is digesting the tree from the inside out. This is the fruiting body. It has uh, inundated the tree with just loads and loads of mycelium. And it's uh, ready to, to breed. So this is the tree that Buddy showed me. And I am not going to be disrespectful and take more than, you know, maybe one more chunk. And he'll uh, have the rest of it here. And it looks like it'll keep fruiting. Um, as time goes on, so there we go. That'll be enough. Chicken of the woods. Apparently, it tastes just like chicken. Never had it, so we'll see. All right, that's plenty. So the sumac and the goldenrod are going to be a beverage. Tea. The turkey, or um, yeah, chicken of the woods. We're going to be cooking with rice. And I think we top that with the crab apples. And maybe, maybe we infuse the water with 
the persimmons.